Lexi, we see the film basically through your eyes. Yes. Right? We, that's how we find out what's going on. So, uh, tell us a little bit, what's going on with Chloe when we, when we first meet her? What's going on? So, Chloe is a seven-year-old girl that's trapped in a house, and you're not really sure why her dad's keeping her because she, he actually tells her that if she goes outside, then th the bad man will hurt her. And so she's always scared to go outside. But then she finally actually gets the courage to step outside of her door, and she meets Mr. Snowcone. And <laughs> then she's scared to go in the ice cream truck because her dad tells her that there are frozen kid dead bodies in an ice cream truck. So when he says to come in the truck, she's like, I'm okay. But then you really see how she starts exploring the world and actually gets to know how the world actually is. And where does Amanda figure in? In Chloe's life? So Amanda, Chloe's not really sure if she is, so so she kind of plays, I mean. I'm your mom. Chloe, yes, she plays there's Chloe's a lot mom. Of, there's a lot of question yeah. marks surrounding yes. my character, which we can't reveal, but questions yeah. for her character to figure out where is her mom, what yeah. happened to her, and when my character's introduced, you're not sure where she is, what kind of state she's in. Yeah. But I play her mom. Yes. <laughs> So Bruce, what, 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 what kind of a film is this? What is this uh, what's the genre here? What are we talking about? Say that a little louder. I, what, what's, what, what is the genre of this film? What, what, how well, is the genre? genre? <clears throat> well, you'd have to talk to the writer and director um, <laughs> because they tried to make a lot of movies in one. And uh, I think that's why it works. They are... Uh, not way ahead of the game, but they're ahead of the game on a level of, say, uh, somebody like an early Douglas Trumbull. In other words, they get what they want to do, and they know what they want. But because of finances and, uh, you know, the, the money to make the film, they had to do it at a different level. But still, the level that they raised the movie to in that is extraordinary. It's like, I mean, when I made Silent Running for Douglas Trumbull, we made it for $900,000. And we made it on an aircraft carrier and everything else, and it still holds up, you know, 50 years later. And uh, these guys have done kind of the similar thing. And the, the hardest thing for me, and I don't know if these two had the same thing, was they push the envelope every single day and you don't have 80 people on your crew. Um, you're in Vancouver, you're... Uh, but I think the thing they did the best is they're a team. I was never sure, uh, I mean, I knew their names, but I was never sure who wrote it and who directed it. I knew who directed it, but I mean, I wasn't sure what the genesis of the idea came from. And then when I finally got along with it, I realized they're up to something. And if they can pull off what they say they can pull off on the screen, uh, and they did it. And so the biggest excitement about the movie to me is just where these guys might go after this. Because they're on the edge of something. And uh, this is a pretty good debut. And she's amazing, and she, if, I, if I'd have known what she looked like on a set, they made her all grungy looking and everything. <laughs> <laughs> she's very pretty. You know, this film couldn't be timelier, timelier than now. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, we're here just last week. Uh, this nightmare was happening, this persecution, uh, the outsider going up. Can you discuss how, how timely it is? I think that was... Part of the uh, motivation when they wrote the script three years ago, it was kind mm -hmm. of, you know, when policies were changing, new president and uh, stuff with the border. And so they were just kind of looking at themes of that, of, of excluding certain uh, groups from society and, and what that does to a person and how that separates a society. And so I think they wrote, that was really a, a motivation to explore those themes within the sci-fi supernatural world. Um, so it's, it's a fun way to kind of explore those themes, but still in a fun, fun, light way. <laughs> Somewhat light. Somewhat light. <laughs> Somewhat, yes. Well, thank you all very much. 
Ja. Ja.